What's up all you Clashers, this is Kaz and welcome to Kaz Gaming. Okay, in this video I'll be bringing you a short guide of how to take down Here Be Monsters AD. Okay, so how's everybody doing? I uh, hope you're all doing good. So, we are now about to challenge Here Be Monsters AD, as you can see from this screenshot right here. Uh, I've already beaten it, and first I'd like to just ask you, to, ask you guys to excuse me for this recording. Actually, when I took this down, I was at work, and so I wasn't able to do any commentary. I just was trying to challenge myself and, and get it done while on my uh, break time there, and I didn't want to, you know be trying to make a video in the middle of the office trying to take down um, uh, this HBM so so the video has no sound so I'll, I will be showing you that video shortly and I'll be trying to walk you guys through it uh, before we start let me explain something about these um, challenge 3 HBMs here starting from HBM AC we start to face a reflect demon in waves four and five. So it is very important for you to balance damage with scatter. The amount of damage you're doing compared to the amount of scatter you have so that you can um, avoid the proc or stop the demon from proccing and then pretty much your guys not wiping themselves on him. So this makes, if you've seen my other videos, you know I've used Ares and Vlad and uh, this actually makes Vlad very difficult to use when you're trying to find that balance because of how much damage Vlad actually does. Now Vlad is an awesome hero to use for Here Be Monsters because of how easily he can take down the waves. He just does so much damage over, that, over those four seconds that the, he summons those bats. Now, the, the problem with that when facing the demon is he's not, he's hitting the demon multiple times over that four seconds. So each hit is giving the demon more energy. So you have to have a very high level scatter on one of your other heroes in order to balance that out so the demon can't proc. Because once he does, your heroes will kill themselves. And I've tried it many many times and Ares even though his proc reduces the you know causes silence and reduces the energy let me bring up Ares real quick right here you know it reduces the energy by a hundred and causes silence but because of that seven second cooldown it's just not enough so I did have to change my team around a bit I did drop Vlad and Ares because my team just did not have enough scatter and the only hero I did have at that time when I did take this down that had a high amount of scatter was Skull Knight. So I brought Skull Knight in there because he had this 8 of 8 scatter. And then I also brought in Michael to up the damage and attack speed when Michael procs. Okay, so those are just some of the things that you need to keep in mind when you're searching for heroes to use in this thing. You want to have heroes that, are, that do high damage and can clear some waves, but on the other hand, you want to be able to, like I said, balance out that scatter so that the, the Reflect Demon is not able to proc. Okay, so let's check out that video and then I'll go ahead and uh, walk you guys through it. Okay guys, here we go, and this is the team right here. I pretty much swapped out one for one Ares for Skull Knight and then brought in Michael for Vlad. So Michael's going to try and take care of that right hand side. Uh, what we're going to see here now is just a quick overview of the heroes and what they're, what they're using. I don't want to get too much into detail on this. You can kind of see what's happening for yourself. Uh, I do want to point out something important though. You want to have one of your guys, and in this one it's Skull Knight. You want to have one of your guys with um, the Eye of Gruda 
and then another one of your guys with the uh, the AVR pet and both of those cause silence and that's going to help out with the demon and as you can see here I've got level 3 scatter on uh, a few of few of my other heroes along with Skull Knights level 8 and that is actually going to be enough to get this done Okay, so here we go, wave one. And we get the uh, perfect starting wave here. Once again, let me remind you guys, you know, even though, like I've said before in my other guides, even though you got the right setup with the right heroes and everything is, you know, is going to work, you still got to get lucky with the spawns. And that's what it comes down to. So it's kind of hard to decide sometimes whether or not um, your... Heroes are, is it the hero strength or if you don't have enough scatter or is it you just got a bad spawn? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so um, that one you're just going to have to kind of decide for yourself if you think you guys are, are strong enough and it's just a matter of getting lucky. So as you saw before, um, I have Medusa on that left hand side. She really helped out there. So we went back to the uh, Medusa on the left totem with Ares on the right hand totem. And here comes wave two. So you can see the trouble that Michael and Skull Knight are having because they're just single attack heroes. It's difficult for them to take out these waves by themselves. Whereas Vlad would have wiped it out. But I had to work with what I had to work with, and so, you know, it just it is the way it is. We had a self-destruct hero right there, take out that side, but it's not going to be a problem. So wave 3 starts off with a really good spawn. We get half the spawn kind of close to us, so the team is able to focus fire on that side, and then switch back over to the right before... Um, Michael or, and that side can get overwhelmed. And here comes wave 4 that has the reflect demon. So this is actually, it looks like a bad spawn but it's actually really good. The demon was, will get there first before everyone else. So the entire team is able to focus on the demon and you see that little exclamation point and then there you go there's the eye of Gruda and AVR doing its work, silencing the demon. And the team is just able to tee off on him and everybody coming in just gets wiped out. That was a really good spawn for wave four. And here we are, wave five, once again, super good spawn. Demon came out from the back, so everybody got to focus on them. And by the time the other team comes around, the demon is, is pretty much destroyed right even before the uh, giant Multanica gets there and boom that was it done so there you go guys if you guys are having trouble with um, a certain uh, hero that you're using or if you don't even have a Vlad like you really don't need one <laughs> um, you know, let's say you're trying to use Vlad or you're trying to use Santa and it's because they do such high damage to help clear those waves um, that inherently might be part of your problem where you just don't have enough scatter to balance off that damage. But uh, there it is. That's the win. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it shed some light on the um, the... Here be monsters AD for you, and um, hopefully you can, you guys can take this and get through it yourselves. All right, if you have any questions or you want some advice from me, just let me know. Just leave a comment there for me in the comment section. 
and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Right on, guys. Y'all take care. This is Kaz signing out.